Hello everyone, welcome to another Java tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to explain to you guys what is a class in Java. So if you have been following my Java programming tutorials, you would have seen that at the beginning of all of our source files, you can see here uh, something like public class and then the name of the class and then we start the coding. So you probably don't understand what is the point of having the word class there. So in order for us to understand classes, the first thing I need to get you guys to comprehend is the idea of objects. Now an object is just something that you can see. Okay, so you can imagine this as something you can see on the screen or in real life or in your game basically every separate thing is an object so for example let's talk about some real life objects okay so uh, you can probably think of cars you can think of uh, humans right or people um, and think of houses, uh, animals. Now, what has happened is each of these things that you have listed is actually a class, right? Because a class you can think of as a type of object, a type of object, right? Whereas when we talk about an object, an actual object, instead of humans, uh, we will have an object of, if we are referring to humans, the actual objects are, let's say we have Eddie. Right, we might have... Uh, Mary, right, with the long hair, and then we might have uh, someone else. Excuse my drawing. That doesn't even look like a human. John. All right. So humans is a class, and these particular humans here are objects made from that class are objects which belong to that class okay so for example when we're talking about cars cars in general is a class but if you make specific cars from the car class, then you could have uh, Toyota or a Mazda. Even even these are classes, okay? Because within Toyota, you could have uh, I don't know a red. Toyota Corolla with a license plate of uh, GFK 112 this this here right now is an object this is an object whereas you can think of cars as a super class and these different brands of cars as a subclass and then you've got the each specific car that each specific car that comes from um, the subclass is an object okay so that's what classes are um, in Java programming so when you see a class declaration like 
let's do it for humans so public class humans so you'll see this code at the beginning of your program and basically right now you are defining what are the characteristics of the human object okay because humans is a type of object and you're going to make all of these separate humans from this parent class so each of these humans what do you want them what property do you want them to have well for example you might want them to have a hair different hair color which is a string okay you might want them to have height which is in which is a number you might want them to have um, weight or eye color things like that so these are all properties these are all properties of each object okay and then um, once you have defined some properties that you want all your objects to have then you can dis define some methods okay what are methods methods are actions that each object can conduct or actions that can be done on each object however way you want to look at it so what are some things that humans can do well let's do a simple one humans can walk so if you want human to walk then then you define another method called public void walk public void walk and then here is where you talk about how you want the person to walk okay so some very complicated programming such as move your legs move the legs move one leg forward move one leg forward by dot 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 I'm not gonna go into the biomechanics here okay but basically you can have all of these different methods that each human is capable of doing another method could be um, other than walking a human can probably jump or climb okay and then once you have defined all of the things that a human can do then you finish off the um, class declaration okay now we want to talk about how to actually create the object Eddie okay so let's say we want to now create an object from the human class then what we do is we use the code um, humans did we have an S on the top yes humans and then we write the name of our object so humans Eddie equals new human All right so what does this mean this means that we're gonna create a new human we're gonna create a new human and every time we refer 
to the variable eddy it's going to point to this particular human so eddy is a reference variable for this particular object okay so the object is a human but every time in our program when we talk about eddy it will point to this particular human so when we say eddy dot jump this particular object is going to jump okay this particular object is going to jump otherwise um, and every other object every other human let's say we create another human called Mary right so um, actually I should say this is the type of object okay so the type of object is humans and the name of the object or the variable which we're going to use to refer to the object is Eddie and this is the code for creating the object okay so when we say eddy.jump only this human is going to jump but if we want let's say we have Mary which is a girl and we want her to jump then we have to say mary.jump okay and that's gonna make mary jump okay I hope this helps some people uh, if it doesn't help at all sorry about that good luck with it see you guys next time